Introducing first, he is 3-1 in, in tournament action. Joining us from Nottingham, England, here is the two-time and current WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Carl the Cobra Crush. From Oakland, California, the Olympic gold medalist and undefeated WBA super middleweight champion of the world, Andre S.O.G. Ward. So we're here guys after uh, an amazing two years, over two years this journey's taken. Once again we must take our hat off to Showtime. Without doubt the most groundbreaking boxing experience of all time. I wish we could have it in every weight division. So eliminate the politics and just let the fight, the best fight, the best every time. These two guys, you know, you can't take your hat off to them enough. They're the last two standing from a, a world class field. And you have to give respect to both guys. You know, when you take off your vest and you take off your head guard as an amateur, you dream of nights like this this Saturday. It's what boxing and what sport is all about. Two of the most prestigious belts in boxing on the line, of course, the Super Six Cup and the Ring Magazine belt. So we wish best of luck to, to Andre's team and, of course, to our man, Carl Froch. You know, I think that uh, there's not many places I'd, I'd less like to be than in a ring with Carl Froch on Saturday night. He's, uh, he's hungry, he's stubborn, he's motivated, he's got the backing of our team, he's got the backing of his family, he's got the backing of the whole of Britain behind him. Um, you know, the job that Sky Sports have done with him recently, he's their number one fighter, he's Britain's number one fighter, without any question of a doubt, now even more so. And uh, we're looking to do a job, and this is his chance really to go out and, and dominate boxing, not just in Britain, but in the world. This is a fight between two of the best super middleweights in the world to become the best super middleweight in the world. And it's not often in sport that you get an opportunity to have a fight like that, so you know, we're, we're all buzzing for that. I just want to, I know that one question is going to come to, to us, um, so I'm going to preempt that and answer that for you. There's a lot of concern, particularly in our country. Um, there's been a couple of contentious decisions lately for British fighters fighting abroad. And I just wanted to, to make a note that we're very, very comfortable working with Aaron. I've had a good, great experience working with a number of fights in Atlantic City. Um, you know, we have absolutely no problem, although we're the away fighter, we don't feel like an away fighter. You know, Carl fights anywhere, anytime, in anyone's backyard. And the American fans embrace him probably just as much as they embrace Andre Ward, because he's a real fighter who provides entertainment every time. So we believe we've got a great referee in Steve Smoger. We've got a, a great commission with the New Jersey Commission and Aaron, we've got three great judges and we're very happy, I know we'll get questions later, but we're very comfortable that we'll get a fair crack of the whip. We never ask for any favours, we just want a fair crack of the whip and, and we're confident that we're going to get that here. So thanks to everyone, to Showtime of course, to Krista Bellasio and all the team and Earl and Jimmy who have worked meticulously throughout this project for the last two years and of course to Sky Sports. Barney Francis and Adam Smith for believing in us and believing in Carl and uh, believe us, he's ready to do the business on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you very much to Eddie uh, and at this time we'd like to present Carl's head trainer, uh, acclaimed trainer who has done so much to bring uh, this gentleman, this world champion to be fighting, as Chris said, the toughest schedule of opponents that we have seen in boxing, and maybe in the history. Uh, please welcome Mr. Ed, uh, Robert McCracken. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, obviously, I'm very proud of Carl, what he's achieved in boxing and what he'll continue to achieve. He's got a great resume, he's fought some of the very best fighters on the planet, and he, he's a real winner. And obviously, with him being from Britain, it really helps. Um, it's great what he's done, achieved 
great things he's done and got to the final. And obviously it's another big fight with Andre Ward, who's, who's, who's a real good fighter. You can't get to the final of this tournament without being a, a real good fighter. What we've got is two great fighters fighting on a Saturday night. Um, I'm a boxing fan. I like watching Andre Ward. I think he's a real good fighter. Good work. Him and his coach have worked together over the last few years and they did a real good job. But Carl Frotch is a different kind of fighter. He's a real prize fighter. And, um, that's the only exception I take to to any of the uh, stuff that's been said leading up to this fight, and you know um, most of it's been been the right stuff because it's it's a fight. But um, I noticed Andre and um, Virgil touched on the, uh, Mikkel Kessler, um, a couple of the other fighters that he fought recently, Ibika, etc. Stop fighting halfway through the fight when they realised they weren't going to win. They they stopped fighting. They they went into survival mode. I can guarantee you now, but you should already know this anyway, because Carl Fritz we're talking about, he will fight the fight, and he will fight to the bitter end. And he's coming to win Saturday, you know, and we're confident he's going to win. But let him not be mistaken for one second. Things go wrong and things go right during 12 rounds for every fighter. But trust me, if he has a bad round, the next round, he'll be there, he'll be fighting, and he'll be ready. So, you've got no problem Saturday night, Carl Fritz will deliver on Saturday, that's for sure. Now it's time to send it over to Team Ward. Representing Team Ward is his promoter, no stranger to center stage, no stranger to the microphone from Goosen Tudor Promotions, Mr. Dan Goosen. Keep the applause down, please. Not even uh, my own team applauded, okay? You guys are in trouble. Um, no, I think they're all just tired out waiting. First off, uh, I, I do want to thank you for all waiting and, and being patient, and uh, I'm glad that uh, Carl and his team did show up. Uh, Eddie, I know you just came in from a long flight, so uh, uh, you know we, we accomplished that part of it. Uh, before we get going, and, and I bring up a few people to have a few words with you, I do want to thank Showtime. I felt that this tournament has been a, uh, you know, a, a whole different direction for boxing. One that can't be accomplished that often because I don't believe it's an easy task to get six of the best fighters in any one division to pre-agree to fight one another uh, and in a continual tournament, win, lose, or draw. And I know that Chris earlier from Showtime mentioned some of the great words that were attached to this tournament when it was announced. And I think it's lived up to everything that it should have lived up to, despite uh, any of the obstacles it faced. Because we're sitting here now, today, with the two original Super Six fighters, one from England, one from America. It wasn't the way that it was planned, I don't believe, considering that the three Europeans were the three favorites to take home this cup. America's got something to say about that. Andre Ward wasn't considered to be able to get past Kessler, much less be sitting here tonight, and his journey has just begun. Anyway, I wanted to thank uh, Matt Blank and the new incoming uh, uh, VP, Stephen Espinosa, but all the team with, uh, with uh, Showtime. Chris, you've done a marvelous job. Earl, Jody, all the cameramen with Fight Camp 360, and Earl with uh, putting it all together. Jimmy, where would your time be without you? Thanks, Danny. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out once again for this fabulous event. It's going to involve these two great uh, gladiators. And uh, we're definitely proud to be a part of it. Uh, we're very brief, and I feel great that um, Coach has said that Carl will fight, and I always will believe, I always believe that. And when I made that statement, um, it wasn't towards Carl at all. It was the other fighters that um, at some point along the line, they quit engaging. But I never doubted in my mind that Carl Frotch would be uh, that type of opponent. So um, uh, as to go along with, uh, to alternate that with, with uh, promoter Eddie, we got our bags packed for the trip that um, 
Carl's going to take us on. We got our bags packed. He's got his camera. He's got his binoculars. He's got all the sightseeing um, things in the suitcase. And he's prepared to go along um, on that ride and go in places that he's never been before. And uh, I think as he goes along um, on the ride that um, he'll recognize very quick that um, the terrain is very familiar to him. Andre will know that he's been there before. So I look for a great fight. We're prepared for this fight and anything that arises in the fight. Thank you.